Hey crafty family, it's me, and this is part four of the junk journal that we are making. Um, I started kind of working on it um, before turning the camera on for some reason. I put the I put this um, what is it called muslin? I don't know. It's this stuff. Uh, muslin? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, but I I coffee dyed it. What else is new? Um, I coffee dyed it and put that down. And my original plan was to, I, when I had cut off the seam part of the muslin-y stuff, I tied it around this little picture, which is really cute. And I was going to put that on like that. And I thought, oh, that's really cute. And then I thought, and then I was digging through stuff and I found my butterflies, which this one's cut in pieces now, but it, I'll still be able to show you. Um, I found these because I have a couple of these. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, this, you know, butterfly thing. And I cut it in half and I found a picture, um, a little girl, and I'm going to put the wings behind her and maybe add a little sparkle to them. I'm just trying to decide now if I want to pop her up a little bit or keep her down like that or pop her up just slightly. I don't know. I'm, I'm like thinking about that. And then I've got some other things. Um, I'm trying to think. Everything's such a mess in here. It's like a disaster. Um, I've got other, like this picture that I did, I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to put it on the inside. But I had other things and I don't know where they went. Oh, I think I have to cut them out still. I've got other pictures um, to put around her and stuff. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to work on this. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to pop her up or not. I may leave her flat. Because she's already going to be kind of... I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe I'll pop her up, but very slightly with this tape that I have. Um, if I can find it amongst the mess. Holy moly, it's a mess. Here it is. It's a very thin um, foam tape. So maybe I'll use that, but I'm going to hot glue it also. But first I'm going to put the wings down, and I'm going to make sure I have her exactly where I want her, so that the wings will be exactly where I want them. I'm trying to think. Do I want her here? Let me see. Yeah, that looks about right. Let me just make sure the wings are in where they need to be. Um, whoops, don't slide off. That one needs to come up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to plant them down with some hot glue first. I'm just underneath of the, this part. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue just to hold them down, which of course it's got to have a wad of hot glue sticking off of it. Hopefully this is heated up enough. I'm going to put that there just so that they stay down while I fiddle with the rest of it with some Fabri-Tac. Okay. And my clamp came off. Without a clamp, I can't really work on this. Holy moly, it's thick and it's not even done yet. Okay, so those are sort of glued down. I'll have to fix this little flap of muslin. What I'll do is put some fabric tack I'll put some under there so that, that fixes. I put the rest down last night. Um, and now I will fabric tack the wings and just, I'm not going to do it in every place, 
just as long as it stays down enough. down this side here like that and then we'll work on the other side I love Fabri-Tac it's a great glue it's great for fabric. It's even good for metals. I've mentioned that before. Because I have some metal things I might want to put. I might actually take a um, metal filigree. and put it on here too, actually. Okay, so then she'll go here. How cute, I love it. Yeah, I might take a metal filigree. I don't know, let me see what I got. Hold on a second. Let's see what I got up here. Um, Fabri-Tac. And then we're going to have to let this dry for at least an hour so that it's good and, and uh, tacked down before we go back in and do anything else. And we okay. Let's deal with this unruly child. Bad baby. Okay, we're going to stick her there. And I'm going to stick some of this tape underneath of her. It's sticky enough to go against her, but when I put it down, I definitely want to either hot glue it or something or other. It'll st I'm confident it'll stick to the paper just fine but I'm not confident that the sticky part is going to stick to the muslin and all that crap. I don't believe it. Now we gotta do her legs, which I am going to cut strips for. So that might be too wide. Okay, that should be good enough. That should be enough. Oh, the head might need some more. Yep, we're gonna have to do the head twice. So, what I'm gonna do is layer another piece on the head. Now let's see, does that make it better? The body's good, the head might need just one more layer. Make sure first, yeah it's better, perfect, perfecto. Okay, let me clamp this back down. Sorry whoever gets this if there's a big crinkle in the thing. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have sewn the signatures in and then said, oh, let me do the cover. That's how I roll. Um, okay, so now I am all ready to put the little baby down. <laughs> I'm not going to put you to sleep like a dog. I'm putting you down. 
like on this. So don't worry, little child. Okay. So I'm going to take off all the backing and I'm going to put some hot glue on the backing and then I'm going to put her down. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. I'm going to put you on a journal. Just because I said so. That's my song. I hot glue really fast. Ooh, 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 no, it's a bad time. I have just enough hot glue for her. <laughs> I was running out. Okay. Ooh, I literally was pushing and almost nothing was coming out. Thankfully, ooh, that was dramatic. Ooh, that was even dramatic. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to trim up some of these little flyaways on here. Not all of them, because I like some of them. All right. Nothing to see here, folks. Okay, she's on. Doesn't she look cute? I love it. This is much better than that other picture. Even though the other picture is cute and it's going to go inside the journal. I think this was a better choice. Because that is just adorkable. But we definitely need to add something else. So, yeah. I might actually tint her dress with a watercolor and her bow. That might be a cute idea. Just make it like a really pale pink. What do you think about that? Since all a lot, there's a lot of the blue around here, but not a lot of the pink, what I might do is watercolor the pink on. I think that would be really cute. I think I might do that. But right now, I'm going to let the metal pieces dry for a little while, and then I will come back. So I'll be back in a little bit. Bye. Okay, we're back. And this is what I got done. <laughs> I got... Then everything's glued down. I even put this flower on with this mini doily behind it. And I put this little handle on with brads. And I'll finish, I'll cover up the ends later. But I figure that's perfect. I can hook something on that, but it still looks really cute. And it's not quite as big as the other thing that I was going to do. Um, also, I also made some little mini notebooks um, to go inside of the journal into pockets that I will be making and then I also made this one which has a little tie closure and it's got a peacock on the front and a doily in the middle and so oh and it's also got this little tea bag um, pocket so I can put something in there which I plan on doing so it's just a tea bag container I use them as mini little pockets for things um, so the other thing that I'm going to make, I made this originally to put on the cover, and it's just, I took some of this, you know, whatever this stuff is, jute, I don't know, and um, I coiled it, and I glued it as I went, and it dawned on me that I didn't, you know, I didn't end up using it on the cover, um, and then I thought about it, and I was like, her hands, if you notice, look like they could potentially be holding something. Um, so I don't know which one I'm going to use, this one or this one, but I'm going to make a smaller one of these and put it up here or up here and make it, make it a string going to it like she's holding a balloon and inside of it I'll put like, um, some words, but I'm just going to make it slightly smaller and I'll use this one inside somewhere. So I'll show you how I did it really quick. It's really not difficult at all. Um, I just took hot glue gun. And I put a little bit of glue on the tip, and I just started rolling it. And it's a little hard to get started, and I have nowhere to lay my hot glue gun down right now. But once you get it started, it's fine. It doesn't take long to do. It's a little finicky to get started, and in fact, I probably should have cut this because the tip of it was being weird. And then you just keep going along, putting a tiny bit of glue, and then rolling it up. Use, I suggest using a low temp glue gun for this because of the fact that it, you know, it's hard to do without getting glue on your hands at some point, or on your fingers. So it's just a better option to use, or if, I mean, wet glue is going to be really hard 
um, especially if you're using this kind of stuff because it's so thick, wet glue, you're going to be sitting there holding it forever and a day. So you really want to use a hot glue gun. Um, unless you want to sit there all day holding, <laughs> holding string as it dries. But if you're careful and you only get, you know, you only use a little bit of glue, it's not so bad. And I blow on it before I touch it. So I just keep going around and putting some glue on just a little dot every like inch or so this way it will be secure I guess it's like two to three wraps smaller than that one and I'm gonna go a little bit further I want to be able to fit some words in it but these are nice because um, you can use these on a vintage journal or a vintage something or other to like you know make them bigger and then put you know sayings in them or you can make a bunch of them and do like a journal cover with a whole bunch of them at different sizes um, you know, these can be the backing for, like, a flower, because that was what I was going to do. Um, two, I was going to take one and make it and put the flower on it. I mean, there's so many things you could do with this, and it's so freaking easy to make. I mean, you could sit there and make it, and it doesn't take long. A couple of minutes, and, you know, you got it. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's perfect. So, I think what I'll do is put it from this hand, since this hand is slightly up a little bit. And I'm actually going to try to pierce a hole in it. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to. And jam a little bit of... I'm actually going to take the twine off of this because I like this color. And I like this size. And I'll glue it to the back like that. And then it'll go down and then hang down a little bit from her hand. So it'll look like that. And I'll probably leave it loose here in the middle. I just think that would be really cute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint her dress and her bow before I... And actually I'm going to use one of these suckers. Uh, I'm going to use a gelato because it's a good pink. Just gives it some good color. Just a touch of color. With all this black and white, I think it would be cute to have this touch of color in here. Okay, that is done. Mm -hmm. That's better. I like that. Much cuter. Very cute. Now it gives back that pink that I was lose that I lost. All right. This side up. And I think, I don't know what that brown spot is. Why is there like a brown spot on there? That's bizarre. Uh -huh. It's just a brown thing of paint. Well, I'll try to cover it up a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think of what I should put on there. Something simple, 
that'll fit in there, like live your dreams, um, maybe. I'll have to think about that for a second. For now, we're going to put the string on. I'm going to do that with a tad of hot glue. Actually, I'm going to pierce a little hole. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to pierce a little hole in there in her hand so that I can fit this string in there. I'll start with that. Should <coughs> actually, if I can make the hole just big enough, which I did, maybe too big. Oops, that's okay. I can feed it through, and it should come out there. Let's see if I can do that. Well, I got it through. Now if I can get it out the other side. Yes, I did. Woohoo! Look at that. Okay. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to let it kind of hang out like that. And I'll glue it down here a little bit. I will put a little bit of Aliens Tacky Glue to tack that sucker down. This way that holds everything in place. All right, how cute is that? Oh, I love it. So now we just need to hot glue this sucker down. I think that gives it such an awesome touch because if I would have used a piece of colored paper as a balloon it would have taken away from the vintage feel of this I feel like even though they had I'm sure some sort of colored balloon back then um, but because it's this jute stuff it still keeps that vintage kind of feel even though it's not a realistic balloon and actually, I'll probably put some mica flakes on it or something. Um, because I have that. Or I wonder if Wink Estella would go over that. Huh. I'm curious. Let's see. Let me get the gold Wink Estella. And just see if that would show up on there. It does. Sweet. So I'm just going to go over this real quick with this, with the gold Wink Estella, and that's really going to make it stand out. Because then it's really going to be like sparkly and pretty, but yet still be vintagey looking. I love this Wink Estella stuff, man. Maybe I'll put some clear on the string so that'll stand out too. And that'll be like a focal p point, or maybe on the on the wings of the butterfly. But I don't know if you can see, but that gave it like a really pretty gold kind of sparkly look. Now I'm trying to figure out 
Do I want to put the clear sparkle on the wings or on the string? Because I'm not going to do both. Mm, I think I'm going to do it on the string because the wings already have the embellishments of the metal. So I think if I do the clear Wink of Stella. on just the string going down and maybe her bow or something. Yeah, I'll do her bow and maybe her shoes. Oh yeah, her shoes definitely look awesome. Hopefully I'll be able to show you the sparkle on those. And then just follow the string down a little bit and see if it gives it just a little bit of sparkle. Yeah, that's cute. That definitely made all the difference. I'm almost tempted to sparkle up her dress. I might. I don't know. I like the sparkle. It's really it's really pretty. It's, I, that's what I like about Wink Estella. It's a subtle yet not subtle kind of sparkle. Can you see her shoes? I don't know if they're going to sparkle for you. Hopefully you can see it. And then the balloon and the string. I may go back and do the dress just because I did the bow and it looks so pretty. Like, look at the bow. I don't know if you could see the sparkle. I don't know. I just think this looks so cute. I love it so much. I want to keep it. I'm not giving it away. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want to give this away. <laughs> This is going to be really hard. That's why I never joined um, a swap for a junk journal or any kind of journal is because I get so emotionally attached to these journals, which is why I never wanted to swap them because I'm like, oh no, because when I put so much work into it, you know, I love it too much. And, you know, so that's why I never sold them and I don't get, you know, I will give one away, which is odd randomly, but sometimes I get just too attached. So I'm really loving this very, very much. Um, and I really hope the person that gets it loves it just as much as I do. Um, yeah, now we need to figure out what to do about the balloon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about that. I'm going to go away for like five minutes and come back and think about what I want to put. And, I have to, and I'll have to print it out anyway because I'm going to print it on paper and put it on there. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and it's the next day, actually the next night at like two o'clock in the morning and I'm finally, <sighs> I keep having distractions or I don't feel good or something, but those are the words I chose. I found like a meme quote online and I cut those out of it. I like the colors of it. It kind of went nice and it says, believe in your dreams. I thought that was perfect. Um, so the cover for me is complete. Um, and then I did, what else did I do? I did this here, which is the pocket and I decorated it. And then it says here's possibility begins with imagination. And I decorated the butterfly and put a trim around it. So I also did this. I don't know if I showed you, but I made like a couple like flippy out little thingamabobbers and then you flip it out. And then under here, if I can get this to stay open, is a tuck spot with a tag just like that and then that could be journaling space too so it flips and flips and flips um i thought that was kind of cute uh what else did i do this i'm gonna stick in here somewhere did i do anything else i'm not sure i did too much else 
Um, oh, I'm going to add this picture, the one that I was originally going to put on the cover. I'm going to put that here and maybe put something behind it. Not sure yet. I put this um, little pocket here for this one. And then now that the glue is dry on that, that's a little tuck spot. So there's a tuck spot and then a pocket. And both of these can be used for journaling on the back. Um, I just need to edge this with some ink. I haven't done that yet. I did this one, but I didn't do that one. And then I put some tickets in here, but I might have some other things to put in this pocket and some other things to put on the page. Um, so basically, because I'm on a time crunch, I'm not gonna be able to sit here and do a lot. I think what I'm gonna do is set this aside because what I need to work on is this. I went around and inked it and all kinds of stuff, but I wanna just put some vintage photos and stuff on here and different graphics that I have. Oh yeah, and I also did, I made, I don't know if I showed you these, I think I did. I made these cute little, yeah, I did show these. I made these cute little notebooks. I'm also gonna make a, the new craze is like these flip book things. And I'm gonna make like a mini version of that with like this, I think it's this that I'm going to use, or this, one of the two, or maybe both, um, and put those in like, I'm going to put like a belly band on one of them, or a paper clip and stick this with it, and I'm going to make a little flip book with that, and maybe make a little something else with this one, or whatever, and then I've got even more here, I can add these in as little flip outs. And stuff like that so I think that's what I'm gonna do with those that's why I folded them in half I've got all kinds of graphics so and I want to put this in as well um, but I think I'm going to cover it with paper maybe or paint it I might gesso it I don't know I have to think about that a little bit I only have till tomorrow to finish this I have all day tomorrow. I could post it anytime up to midnight, but obviously I don't want to wait till midnight. So I'm going to work on it for a few more hours tonight, actually. And then I'm going to work on it for a few hours tomorrow and it'll be done. I mean, basically for all intents and purposes, it is done. I have met all the requirements. So regardless, even if I don't get it done, I could take a picture of it as is pretty much. I don't think there's anything I'm leaving out because I've got all the requirements and it'll be done in the eyes of the swap and what I'll do is since I don't have to send it out to the 29th um, I'll work on it between now and then and add more to it and actually I'll get my swap partner and be able to say hey you know what kind of things you like because I'll add them in a certain color a certain thing do you like a lot of tags do you like this or that and I'll add some things in and also I can find out what they like and I can send them pick out some extras out of my stash for them so regardless I mean, it's going to be way more embellished than this and way more cool than this. But if I have to put up the pictures and it just be like this, this is everything that the swap required, I think. It's got pockets. It's got tuck spots. It's got embellishing. It's got stamping. It's got, you know, right now it's pretty much got everything. It's got tags. It's got lace, lots of lace. Um, oh, I never showed you this cool feature, and I want to show it to you. Do I want to show it to you now? No, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I just teased you, but you'll see it at the end of the video. Because at the end of the video, I'm going to do the final, you know, tomorrow I'm hoping to get it filmed. The final kind of flip through of this, you know, when I'm done with it. So I'm going to work on this. And right now, together, we're going to, remember this was the cigarette advertisement coupon thing um so what we're gonna oh i just show you this see i'm like all over the place um this was a picture and it had like three parts to it and i thought it was really cute and i took it and put it on a little ribbon and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this into the journal somewhere i'm not exactly sure but wherever i put it i'll put it like that and tack it down with something cute like a brad and then this way you know it's kind of like a movable cute little thing so that's going to go in there. I'll leave that in there so I don't forget. Um, okay. And then, I mean, I really like making journals and I hope that I'll be able to swap more um, as I, but you know, the thing with journals is I've never had a time constraint on a journal before um, because I put my heart into it. And like I said in earlier in the video, um, 
and I've never had a time constraint, so it's hard for me. Usually I take my time and I think about it and I, you know, work on it little by little and, you know, it gets better and better, but I'm learning how to work with a time constraint on my journals. It's kind of fun. It's kind of different. Um, so anyway, let's find some graphics for these. Or maybe I'll stamp on this. I don't know. Let's see. What do I have to stamp? Let's see if I can find a stamp quickly enough to not be annoying. I have a butterfly. I could do a couple of these different butterflies. So as long as my ink is going to cooperate. There's a random J. I don't know where the hell that came from. I don't know. My stamps are a mess, man. Seriously. A mess. Okay. Last time I used this, it seemed like it needed some ink. So I'm going to locate my stays on. There it is. And just give this a little bit of ink. Because it seemed like it wasn't dry. It was just... I just, I don't think when I first re-inked it the first time when I got this inker, um, I don't think I ever quite put enough ink to begin with. So, let's see if I can get that ink to, oh, it doesn't matter. Where is my ink? My ink, my. Now I gotta locate an acrylic block, and we all know how much fun that is for me. Here we go, I found one. Okay, so we'll start with the big butterfly, which is not really fitting on this ink block because it's too small. Yeah, that ain't working. Ugh. I'm a hot mess. I need ink blocks really bad. No, let's put it in the middle. Okay, so I have this one. This is not even an ink block, it's a ruler. But I'm a hot mess. Hot mess, I tell you. So, it's Friday. Fun. This is due tomorrow, like I said. I have to put pictures of it. Because this kind of swap in this group, which I actually like. Ooh, that came out good. Um, what you do is you... And I really like the way they do this. Because then you don't really get flakers. You can't get swap flakers on this kind. And I specifically said that, you know, I can't ship out of the country because unfortunately I don't have that kind of money right now, but this will be fairly cheap to send out, you know, probably, oh, for the love of God. Um, it shouldn't be more than $4 to ship that probably. Uh, it's not very heavy at all. And I might be able to ship that as media, which will be cheaper as well. Because if I only put the journal in there or, you know, they don't have to know that there's anything else in there. If I do put a couple other little things, <laughs> you could just tell them it's a media. And, you know, if you do any kind of media that's like CDs or books or anything, you can consider it media. And it's a lot cheaper to ship it. So if you're sending any kind of books or anything, at least that's what I think is how it works. I could be wrong. And we're just going to do some random butterflies. And I think that will be it. Yeah, that's cute. Butterflies. Okay. I'm going to actually hit that with the heat gun for a split second. Okay. Now we can close that sucker up. Alright. Put these away. And we can move on. Let's move on with our lives. Okay. I think I'm just going to leave that side the way it is and let's work on let's work on this little booklet thing. Let's put 
put some, let me move this journal out the way. And let's see. What do I got here? That teacup would be cute. I don't know if I feel like cutting it out right now. Oh, I like that. I thought I had another one. Yeah, I do. I like that color better. No, that one's better. I like that. I think I dig that. Everything's a mess over here. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. I am going to trim the corners, though. And ink the edges with my dying ink. Still working. It's hard to do because this is copy paper. And I like to use copy paper for some of my graphics, especially if I'm going to glue it down because it's much easier and it, and it kind of sits better when you use copy paper. And other times, you know, if I want a little sturdiness, I'll use a... Uh, Cardstock, so I, I don't mind using copy paper because depending on the situation, it might actually work out better. It's just harder to ink copy paper because it's flimsy. All right, I inked it. Now I might put some. Mod Podge on that. Actually, let me find a scrap piece of paper. Yeah, whenever like my printer decides not to print properly, um, and it's like the colors are all off and screwed up, I'll end up using that as scrap paper. I need a brush. I need a brush, and I need some Mod Podge or something. Maybe I'll use the antique Mod Podge. I like that stuff. It works pretty good. While that's drying, stick that over here. Oh. I will work on these suckers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a graphic on each one of these, front and back. Okay. Glue those down there, glue that one there, and that one there, and now we got one more, two more. That one's a bit wide. Actually, maybe I should just do one side so that they can put a picture on the other side. That's probably a better idea than putting pictures all over it. Because otherwise it's just a thing with pictures on it. And it's not really usable to them that much. Yeah, I'm not going to bother matting them. I think they look good like this. These ones stand out enough on here where it's not necessary to mat them. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, anyway, sorry, I had to go take my dog out. Alrighty, let's do this. On Tuesday, I'm having a colonoscopy. So I'm going to get violated in my butt. Fun! What are you doing Tuesday? 
because I'll be on the train to Buttville. At least my doctor will. <laughs> Good times. You know what I want to do? <laughs> I want to write on my butt, just with like eyeliner, so it's not something they can't just wipe off. <laughs> write exit only or be gentle with me <laughs> on my butt. <laughs> before I go in. That way it would be funnier if it was a guy, but it, it's actually a girl doing my colonoscopy, which is the first time I've had like five or six colonoscopies. And this will be the first time that it's a woman doing it. So not that that matters. I'm just stating the obvious or the not obvious to you, but obvious to me. I hate colonoscopies. Not the colonoscopy itself. That's fine. It doesn't bother me. They knock me out for it. I've never been awake for them because I know a lot of people normally you're like, you know, not awake, but you're given sedatives. But because of my condition, they can't. Sedatives are, I forgot to ink these. That's okay. Um, sedatives aren't an option because of I have so much inflammation in my colon all the time that it would be too painful regardless of sedative. Plus, sedatives don't work on me at all. Um, I would be wide awake and know everything that's going on without even a problem. Sedatives do nothing. Because when I had my, um, I had a heart cath done where they go in and, you know, they take the camera and they go up through your leg vein all the way up into your heart. And it's like, you know, to check what's going on. And when I had that done, they put like, you know, they give you massive sedatives, but they keep you awake. They put the sedative in. She says, oh, you know, you'll be feeling sleepy and it's okay if you fall asleep, blah, blah, blah. I was wide awake. And she goes, are you sure you're not feeling relaxed? I said, no. So she gave me an entire other dose of the sedative now and she even said this would knock out a 350 pound man this would knock him dead so you're gonna be out like a light you know not knock him dead she said knock him you know knock him out she says you're gonna be out like a light when i give you the second dose second dose came and went i was wide awake talking to the doctors looking at the screen asking questions completely coherent and she was like never in and she was like a nurse for 30 years she's like never in 30 years have i ever had anybody lay here completely awake while this was going on and completely like coherent able to you know know exactly what's going on she goes this is she goes this is a first so yeah sedatives don't work on me i knew that too and i even told them that i said sedatives aren't going to work but that's fine oh we will we have powerful sedatives i'm like i'm sure you do but unless you're going to give me anesthesia i will be wide awake Ooh, I almost dropped my glue. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but they don't work. I am beyond sedatives. <laughs> don't know why. That's like, it, it, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I have a really high tolerance for alcohol. So alcohol, it takes me like six drinks just to get buzzed. So I don't know if that, I don't know. And it's not because I'm an alcoholic, because I don't really drink that much at all. Like, I haven't drank, I haven't gone out and, like, socialized or drank in probably close to a year. But if I did, I'd still be able to drink six drinks and still walk away without, you know, much damage. So that looks cute, right? Cute. So then we'll open it and we'll put some sort of a pocket in here. How's that sound? Sound good? Sounds good to me. I'll put this in. It says, love yourself. Do I want it? It's so little, though. I want a bigger pocket. I might put that on something else. What do I have that I can use for a bigger pocket? Hmm. I have some of this left over from something. Do I want to use any of that on here? No. Nah. Here, I'm going to go through my... No. No. I already put that one on the front. Maybe I could put that on another page. Ooh, I don't want to cover up this page, so I'm not going to. I really like that. I know. Looky here. That was the flap, remember? That's perfect. Perfect pocket. 
Let me trim the sides. Let's cut this straight. Well, not straight, but not too terrible. And I can use this as a piece of something. That's a nice little pocket. And then we could put a couple of these little journal card thingamajiggies in there. For this I'll use... Uh, I'm going to use glue for that because I, it's so thick that I'm not confident that sticky tape's going to... Let me see which side I want to use. I want to use this side, so... I wouldn't be confident that sticky tape, double-sided tape, would really hold this as well as I would want it to. Just because it's thick. So we'll use some Aileen's tacky smacky glue. Just getting all the seepage. It's seeping. Ma'am, your pocket is seeping. Alarm. That alarm is going to be the death of me someday. I throw it. Where's my wet wipe? Why did I lose it? Oh, where, oh, where did my wet wipe go? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? You gotta be kidding me. I know I didn't throw it out. I didn't use, use it. I was using it when I was stamping. Okay, so what did I do? with it after I stamped. Wow, my desk is a disaster, folks. All right, seriously? Did I drop it on the floor? No, I didn't. Oh, that means I have to get another one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like to keep one near me so I can wipe my fingers of the glue. So my fingers don't get ridiculously sticky. Okay. Maybe I could put that there. Yeah, that works. I'll just gonna round the corners on it though. I don't know why, I just think rounding the corners makes it look more finished. I don't know. I don't do that with everything, but I do it with a lot of things. Come on, scraps. When the little scraps are starting to come out of the bottom of my punch, that means it's too full and it needs to be emptied. I'm, you know, like I've been considering, you know, maybe putting a couple of journals up on Etsy. Because I've had a couple people, I have somebody that wants my wallpaper journal. And I'm going to embellish it and everything, but I'm not charging her very much for it. Um, just because, you know, whatever because she's a nice person and I like her and we did a swap together once before so. so that's what I mean like I have trouble charging people for things and it makes it difficult um, I'm trying but I do want to concentrate on maybe trying to sell a couple journals like the one that I'm making right now I don't know how much that should go for but I was thinking like I don't know, like I'm not obviously selling that one because I'm swapping it, but if I were to make one that size with that much embellishments, do you guys know how much it should go for? Any suggestions? Write in the comments what you think that journal would be worth if I were to sell it like on Etsy or something. I've seen journals on Etsy, but I can I have trouble figuring out what the price on something like that should be. I have no problem pricing out my jewelry and other stuff, but I don't know why. The journals, I've never sold them, so I don't really know. Maybe you can give me some enlightenment. Have you ever bought one on Etsy or anywhere? Have you ever made one and put it on Etsy? What do you think? $30? Is that, you know, is that too low? Is that too high? I don't know. I need help. Ooh, there we go. That's a good journal card. Stick that in there. Voila. I'll loosen it up just in case the glue is still drying. Um, I'm actually not going to put that those little things back in here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to put these in here. That's right. I want to put these in here. 
it's going to stick out the top, but that's okay. We're going to put two here. I'm not going to put it in here because I'm actually going to put a tag in here instead, like a longer kind of tag, like maybe this one. Maybe I'll put this one in. It's not open all the way. It's kind of weird. It's like open just a little bit. I don't know if it, if I could open it all the way. Yeah, I probably could, but that's all right. See, look how perfect that is. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'll put like a little string on that. Okay, so that's perfect. I'm just going to ink the edges of it. But yeah, I wouldn't mind making a little few extra bucks on journals. And, I, you know, I even thought, well, I can even take like custom orders. And if somebody wanted, you know, a specific color, a st specific style, I can do that too. But they would just have to understand that it probably could take me up to three weeks to get it done. Maybe longer if I, you know, I'm doing... I wouldn't want to... I don't know if I'd want to work on more than one at a time. And, yeah. I don't know. Give me your input on all that jazz. Okay, so that's that. That's those two. I'm going to leave these pockets. Or these... Maybe I should do something. I don't know, I just really like that. Hmm, maybe I'll leave it, because I really like it. Don't you think that's pretty? That just looks pretty to me, except for that freaking spot of paint that I got there, but that's okay. I just really like that. So they could put pictures here, there and there. And then we can put something here, more pockets. I'll put pockets back here on this one, actually. I'll put a pocket here, and then I should put something here too. Maybe I'll just paper clip these on. Let's see. Do I have a pretty paper clip? Yes, I do. I've got one with a little gem on it. Get over here, you rascal. Let's see. There we go. There we go. And it's got a little diamond thingy on it. How cute. Okay, so what I forgot to do out of this whole journal, I never used any book pages. And I don't know why. I don't know why. But we're going to now because I'm going to make a little pocket with this and book pages. So I'm going to measure or find a pencil. Measure. In from there, and in from there, and cut it really quickly. You're not going to probably be able to see that I'm cutting. Just another piece of paper to get in my way. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't get my book pages out. Like, I'm weird. I just forget, like, sometimes about normal things that I should remember. I'm just like, oops. Not that I don't have enough stuff in there. I mean, all right, now we're going to cover it with book page. Randomly kind of collage it on there. I use book pages. Duh, I used it on the cover. Man, I'm losing it. You guys probably figured that out and was like, wait a minute, what is she talking about? She used book pages on the cover. Yep, I didn't remember that. Then again, I did the cover like, or at least the base of the cover, like six days ago. I'm a dingbat. I'm a very special dingbat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm generally not a ditzy person, but because of you know, medical reasons, my brain has not been functioning properly. They call it fibro fog, but that also can happen when you have um, any autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis. Um, it can cause you to have a lot of forgetfulness, and that I do definitely have a lot of forgetfulness. 
like quantitative proportions of forgetfulness. All right, we're gonna let this dry or dry it with the heat gun. And then maybe I'm not gonna, I was gonna say cut away at the edges, but I kind of dig that. I may not cut away at the edges. I may leave it like that. And remember, I, it's not as shiny as it normally would be um, because I put the calcium carbonate in it. So if you buy this Mod Podge, it's gonna be shinier because, and I didn't like the shiny. I wonder if that would work or if that would just get annoying. I'm gonna have to cut it off the sides anyway. Maybe I'll just leave it on the bottom because if I do it on the top, it might be hard getting the things in and out of it because the, the little shards would get in the way. So maybe I'll take it off the sides and the top. Is that what I want for the top? Yeah. Eh, I'll just cut it away from around all sides because it's going to create a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Alrighty, that looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. We're just going to put some ink around the edge and worry about this timer. Okay, anyway, ink around the edge. That's what we were doing. A little bit harder to hold down because it wants to curl up a little bit in spots. I may have to resort to some clothes pins on this one because it's thick. That's what he said. Just gotta play with it a little bit. And that's what he says too. I don't know who he is, but he said it. Alright, I think we're about all grabbed on. trouble spot there and I think this is good too right yeah that's good all right okay have some more book page in case we need it but these will sit in here we just need to bend them. They will sit in there. I'll probably put something on here, maybe words, a quote, something. Maybe I'll go find that now and I will shut off the camera, go find a quote to put on there, and I'll be right back. Okay, so since filming the last segment, and I said I was going to go to my printer and yada yada yada. Well, I took a break and I was looking at, I was re-looking at the, um, the swap page and the requirements to make sure I had everything done right. And I discovered that my dumbass misread what it said the requirements were for the size of the journal. It says that the journal needs to be four by six. And it's not a minimum of four by six. It has to be four by six, period. And I stupidly thought it said six by nine. So this is nine by six. And of course I can't just cut off, you know. So I can't swap. I can't do a swap, unfortunately. So what I might do is offer it up for sale. Um, it'll be the first one. I was thinking about it anyway of doing one and I figured, you know what? I was going to swap this. I was prepared to let it go anyway, even though I love it. Um, so I am going to officially put this up for sale. What I'm going to do is I'll talk about price and stuff like that. 
after I completely finish it because I haven't done anything else than what you saw me do. And what I'm going to do is glue this down, show this to you, glue the words down here. I'm going to I'm going to stop this video at that point because it's really long, I realize. And then I'm going to finish it up because like I get sick of trying to like I've been having trouble with my camera today. It's been uh, like I'm just kind of sick of videoing for the day because I had an awful day when it comes to that. And I will come back with it completed with a flip through and I will put a price on it and I'll give you guys first dibs on it if you want it. And if not, I'll put it up on Etsy or something. Um, but it'll be cheaper for you guys. I'm going to make the price cheaper for you um, to buy it through me directly than through Etsy. What else happened today was, since the Creative Arts Collaboration hashtag event thing is going on right now, and I didn't, it's over today, um, and I didn't work on it because I was consumed with trying to get this journal done, I decided to try to, after I figured out that my journal wasn't going to be in the swap and I didn't have to worry about finishing it right away, um, I decided to work on something for the Creative Arts Collaboration event, the hashtag event, which is um, Love Spring Art. And I got the whole thing videoed and the most important part, which was putting the thing that I made together didn't record and I didn't notice this until I went to go upload the videos onto my computer and I realized those videos didn't happen. Which means that the most important parts of the video were gone. There was no point in even bothering to put up the rest of it because it wouldn't have made any sense without these parts and I didn't have time to do it over again because it was quite time consuming. It took me like three hours to, to film it and well it was like two and a half hours I guess and I was gonna have to edit it down to like less than an hour I wanted to anyway it was just a rough day when it came when it comes to creating and videoing today was just a bad day it really sucked um, you know and I'm gonna have days like that the, the worst part of it is my camera my camera is just it's my phone so it's, and I've said that before, and I've complained about it before, and I know you guys are sick of hearing it, and I don't, you know, mean to complain about it. I'm just venting, because, you know, I get annoyed. But it, it would just be good if I didn't have to, if I didn't have to deal with this 10 minute time limit and have the alarm going off in my ear, and I could just record, <clears throat> excuse me. I could just record and have it work and not have to keep stopping it and starting it and getting frustrated and then losing videos and having the battery die which is what happened and why it didn't record and I didn't realize it the battery had died and when the battery dies it doesn't warn me it just dies especially if, if I'm recording it has no way of 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 warning me so it just shuts off and then I'm sitting here recording and going on and on and, <clears throat> and of course, it's not recording. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it's just frustration. And I, I really can't wait to get a camera, honestly. And, you know, it's not even that the camera has to be expensive. Because there's actually a point-and-shoot camera out there that I saw this guy who makes really, really good YouTube videos who's actually pretty um, popular on YouTube. And he's not a crafter or anything. Um... He, his camera is just a point and shoot camera that costs under a hundred bucks, you know, and it's everything. I would just need a good SIM card, you know, a, 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 a large SIM card that has a lot of memory on it, which they're not that expensive either. Um, it's just, I don't have money for food, let alone a camera, you know what I mean? So I have to wait until I sell my house, which is the story of my life. frustrating so yeah so the fact that I don't have a camera makes my videoing a lot more difficult than it does for most people who have a normal camera to use I can't complain too much because at least I have a smartphone because there are people in the world that don't have a smartphone and they don't have a phone at all, and they don't have a house, and so I really shouldn't be bitching. These are first world problems. 
Um, the fact that I don't have food, you know, uh, that that's more of a problem. I shouldn't be worrying about a camera when I need food. <laughs> I'm over here going, I don't, I need a camera. I haven't eaten. No, <laughs> I mean, Jesus. Ridiculous. I know, I'm crazy. Okay, so I picked life's a journey, not a race. Because I thought that was a good... saying of sorts. Oh, I got two minutes to lay this down because then my video is going to go. So I'm going to basically end this video with me doing this. And what I'll do is in, I'm going to work on the journal over the next couple of days and finish it up. And I'm going to come back with a part five finale with a flip through of the gorgeousness that is the journal. And I'll have it all gussied up, all the pockets done, and all the fun stuff that I was hoping to get done on video, but it's just not going to happen without doing like eight parts, because you know how slow I am at everything. I can do a video on something simple, and it takes, you know, an hour. <laughs> when most people on YouTube, it takes them ten minutes. They can do a ten minute video, and I'm just too chatty for a ten minute video, and I know that a lot of you guys have said you like that about me that I'm chatty and I just talk and stuff and I like that too and I don't want to change that so sometimes my videos are just gonna have to be long but as far as this journal goes I have to be done videoing it for now just so I can plow through and not have to worry about my battery dying or shutting the alarm off and all this stuff and when this dries, I'll probably doodle around it with a black or a brown marker just to make it stand out. But it says, life's a journey, not a race. I thought it was cute. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you can't wait until you see the rest of the journal. I can't wait for you to see the rest of the journal all done. I think you guys will love the inside of it and the things that I'm going to do. The rest of the things that I'm going to do. Um, there's a couple of cool features to this journal. And there are going to be some more cool features because I have all this stuff in my head. And if there's something really cool that I want to show you, maybe I'll do a little video on it. Um, but it'll just be like, it won't be part of the journal. It won't be like a part five and then a part. It'll just be, all right, I'm going to teach you this technique or something. So that's going to be it for this journal for now until the finale. I hope you guys love it. Have a great rest of your weekend. It's Sunday. Enjoy your day. Don't forget to look up hashtag love spring art. Make sure you do what you love, love what you do, and have a great day and be nice to people. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.